In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a complete hydroponic system using NFT and supplies from your local hardware store, all for about $50. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, now that we've assembled all the parts, let's start uh, putting it together. Here's the front support unit. Here I'm attaching one of the feet. If you noticed, I'm just using a dry fit method. I'm not gluing any of the unit together. Um, otherwise, it makes it difficult to clean and to take apart if you ever need to move it. One thing that I do want you to note is that the front support is taller than the rear, which provides a nice angle for the nutrient solution to flow from the top of the unit to the bottom. Okay, now once I've completed the vertical section of the front support, I'm going to attach one of my spans, which is 24 inches long, um, to provide the width to the unit. You also notice I have an eye hook in there, which I use to um, hang a fluorescent light for a seedling tray that hangs underneath the unit. found that to be kind of nice. Okay, now that we've finished the front support unit, we're gonna start on the rear support unit. The only difference in the assembly is that the vertical members are 10 inches a piece instead of 11, which provides a good angle for the nutrients to flow from the top of the unit through the nutrient tubes back to the reservoir. Okay, once again, now that I've completed the vertical section, I'm gonna attach another one of my 24 inch spans to provide width to the unit. Okay, now that I've finished my front and rear supports, I'm now going to attach my 36 inch spans, which provide length to the unit and uh, stabilize the entire platform so I can add my nutrient flow tubes to the top of the unit. Now that we're all square, I'm going to attach the NFT channels to my platform using machine screws. I've got a rubber gasket inside of the tube so it doesn't leak, and then I'm going to use wing nuts to attach it to the platform. Okay, now I'm going to attach the drain that I built earlier to the nutrient flow channels. At the bottom of the drains where the reservoir sits and in the reservoir would be the pump and then I use standard irrigation lines to run from the pump to the top of the unit. It flows down through the tubes then back to the reservoir and then recirculates on a timer which runs 24 hours a day. Okay, here's the unit in operation, and you've noticed I've made a slight modification to the drain. I didn't like how bulky it was, so I streamlined that and made a modification. This was an earlier version of the system, 
here's some plants that are in the grow chambers and I'm using just uh, nylon screening to keep the rock wool in place and I can pull those out um, when the plants are done growing. There's my pump and my uh, indoor light system. Hope you enjoy.